Hello, this is evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim, Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. First off, I want to read uh, oh, 2 Timothy uh, 2, this time, 2 Timothy 2, and also 2 Timothy 3. 2 Timothy 2, which is in between 1 and 3 here in my Bible. Here at uh, 15. Be diligent to present yourself approved to God a worker who does not need to be ashamed, rightfully dividing the word of truth, but shun provene and idle babblings, for they will increase to more ungodliness. Now, of course, we all know uh, down here it says, but know this. That in the latter days, perilous times will come, for men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving. Get my Bible fixed here. Slanders. Without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, hardy, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, from such people turn away. Down, down here, it also says in 13, but evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Now, I need to close up my Bible here and move it out of the way so I can do something else and show you something else. I'm like Lance Wong now. I don't have all that fancy um, technology like some other people have to edit my videos and I don't really need all that technology to show the truth and what I want to show okay I had to create another USA life account well, an USA Life is a conservative and a Christian social media account. It's only for conservatives and, and Christians. Well, when I went, I was in my account yesterday, uh, and when I went into my account today, it says right there that basically. There were too many login attempts. Please try again later. Login attempts. I didn't try to log in more than once this this morning. So where are they getting that information from? So then I tried to um, reset my password, and then it came back saying we can't find your email. So. Renee's account was also compromised. It was saying the same thing, but she was able to get in and reset her password before they changed her email. These trolls and hackers think they're so good, but yet. So anyhow, after... Uh, she checked to see what was going on.
There are two accounts now, mine, that I currently have now. And the uh, evil, uh, the evil troll hacker. This one here was mine. And if you look down here at the birth date, it says, well, now it has the right date. Because you stole my current birth date. But if you look here previously, they had 1 1 of 70. This is the same account right here. They had 1 1 of 70 for the birth date. The exact same account. Well, now they had cor corrected it to make it look like it's my account when it's not really my account. This is not my account anymore. I cannot even get into this account. Because why should I even add myself as a friend? I can't even get into this account. So I'm just wanting to warn, warn people. Especially my friends that um, are on um, on here. To um, watch out and be careful because of the fact my haters who are not just trolling me, that they are also hackers. I've hacked my old. Uh, USA Life account and took it over just like all these um, fake um, gab accounts that uh, they have also been making using my uh, photo in many ways and uh, using my name in many ways there are five other accounts using my photo and my name on gab because they're um, imposters they're uh, deceiving and they're also being deceived as well by you know one another that's what gets me that's why I laugh is because they deceive one another as well there are people that hate me that that tries to deceive me but yet they're hated as well and they're being deceived as well by their haters. It just, it's just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Non-stop. Somebody hates somebody so they're going to find some way to, if they can, hurt that person. Because they hate them with a passion. Just like they hated Jesus Christ with a passion. But it was Christ's passion. It was the passion of Jesus Christ to die for our sins on the cross. Yeah, you're sinners. You need to repent of your sins and you need to... Uh, you need to uh, give me back control on my other social media account 
and get off of it and get off of Gab. Delete all those uh, other Gab accounts. But you don't think you're a sinner because you don't believe in God. So why should you even believe in sin? Well, how about believing in this? Even the Native Americans believe in a higher power. And they even had laws governing what it was right and what was wrong. Other uh, cultures throughout the history of the world believed in some type of a higher deity and they had laws of what is right and wrong. It wasn't they didn't have a constitution like we have here in the United States of America but they had moral laws and they stuck to those moral laws. A lot of people were killed because of uh, disobeying the laws. In the United States of America we have corporal punishment. But nowadays the law is so not caught up to the, the times that we're living in. It allows people to get away with destroying other people's lives and stealing other people's identity. All those other things that they can get in trouble with if they get caught, like stealing somebody's money out of their bank account and things of that nature. So you're going to have to be real tricky to try to get in my bank account and steal my money. Then maybe the FBI will get involved and go after you. But you can't do that, can you? Because you're just smart enough to hack social media accounts. But you're not smart enough to go and hack a bank and steal someone's money. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The sooner or later you're going to slip up and it's all going to come crashing down on top of you. All these um, reports I've been reporting uh, what you people have been doing. Sooner or later some detective somewhere is going to say we've had enough now we're going to contact the FBI and we're going to have the FBI get involved. Oh, and if you think you're going to get into my USA life again, more power to you because you're going to have to have my two-step verification. You can't get into things like you used to because I'm stopping you before you even can get in. You have to have my cell phone, you have to have my email account, you have to be able to get into every single email I have. And you're not going to be able to do that without the two-step verification. All I'm going to say is think before you do anything else.
then again, you probably don't even have the rationality to think before you do something. You know what I'm talking about. God bless you. Have a blessed day.